Make do with what you got. These rural farmer in Eastern Europe couldn't be bother acquiring any modern farm machinery because of how expensive those are. Instead, they salvaging on military truck they inherit from their old timer. By installing three-point linkage to the rear of the truck and few other modification, these truck can plow, till, or even seeding, like this Kamaz here pulling an air seeder. This is an old Soviet UAZ military jeep. It is modded with a dump bed, a hydraulic lifted hay fork to the front, and the rear is attached with a rake. But what if your ancestor doesn't leave behind any Soviet truck? Well, look at this. A Chinese dump truck pulling an eight-furrow plow. The plow is made locally by weld-together parts of railroad beams. Reliability is questionable, so use it while it lasts. But what if there is no truck? But an old lot of Neva is what you got. Well, put a thousand dollars on a track kits and five hundred bucks on a plow. You got yourself a working tractor. The result is irrelevant if the effort was there. And if you were looking to build yourself a tractor from the ground up, with pieces and parts from old rusted truck, you might end it up with one looking just like this. Having acquired such skill, any foreign economic sanction would not affect you. This is a Volvo A35D, an articulated dump truck. Here it is utilized as a tractor, pulling a disc harrow. The dump bed is removed, making space for a large fuel tank and a ballast weight. Volvo has stopped producing tractors since who know when, but that doesn't stop farmer from having a Volvo working on a field. A front loader pulling a plow while driving in reverse is probably not what you would expected to see. But you could have expected this if the last time you check up on your air filter was six months ago. This is how you could unload a trailer in the quickest way possible. No shovel nor hydraulic action is needed. Just ram it and flip the bed. When you're too far off the grid and you need electricity to power your work on the farm, just get one of this attached to the back of your tractor. And whenever you need to break up the soil up to one meter deep for whatever reason, you get one of this, a deep drill tiller. It has a series of spinning auger shaft. It is used to break up soil up to one meter deep, exactly what you wanted. A firewood chopper that look rather dangerous, the chopper is powered by a tractor, which provides the power to turn the rotating drum. The rotating drum has blades attached to the outside, which chop up the branches as they are fed into the chipper. Safety was never a priority, Sebastian said, though I recommend not to take his word. The finished build look a lot safer with protective outer case and the feeding mouth. This is a rotary cylinder plow, two rotating cylindrical drum with blades mounted on it to break up and turn over the soil. It worked just like any other regular plow, just cooler. This is a rotary plow. It has one furrow blade 
and two shaft with rotor blades spun by a series of bell and pulley. The blade dig and turn the soil over to the spinning shaft and the rotor blade break and spread the soil. This is a wood chopper build on a truck axle powered by an electric motor. The cutting blade is made from a truck rims with sharpened spiral shape edge. A dual tires is attached to the other end to act as a flywheel to store and transfer kinetic energy for a smoother operation. This is a threaded cone-shaped wood splitter, usually powered by an electric motor or a combustion engine. The cone has a spiral thread that runs along the length of it. When the drill bit is turned, the spiral thread creates a wedge that forces the wood apart. This wedge action is what helps to split the wood. This is a track modified tractor with wheel can be attached to the side of the tract for whenever it is back on the road. The track can be lifted or lowered with hydraulic action. Rusty old vintage tractor that doesn't have the required horsepower for modern farm work. Found a new job at a construction site working as a concrete mixer. 